Ugh, we gotta stop this cycle your aquarium nonsense. It's all over the internet, and I see it continually just making things worse. Is a nitrogen cycle an important thing to know about? 100%, no doubt. Routinely, whenever there's a problem, someone's gonna ask, is your tank cycled? I don't believe that that is the answer, or, or even gonna help you get to the answer. I never did that in the store. I never really asked, is your aquarium cycled? I would always just go straight to a much more useful question. How long has your aquarium been set up? Then they tell you a story. From there, I can make educated guesses. You could also just tell me, well, my tank cycled. And we would run into that a lot. Oh yeah, how long has your tank been set up? It cycled. Great, how long has it been set up? Because an aquarium is so much more than just the nitrogen cycle. Getting certified or going to college or something like that, physically having a piece of paper that says you know how to do something, doesn't mean you're actually proficient and good at it. That's exactly what cycling in an aquarium is. So just because we got the certification, my aquarium is cycled. It doesn't mean it's actually a good working system for fish or plants or anything. Just because you can process ammonia doesn't mean your pH is correct. Doesn't mean you're not riddled with disease. Oh, my aquarium cycled, I dropped some shrimp in there and why'd they die off in two weeks? Oh, well there was nothing for them to eat. Or I cycled my aquarium and then I put 27 African cichlids this big in there and then ammonia went through the roof. We've done videos in the past about like seasoned tank time, letting them marinate and, and, and that's what we need to express in the hobby. We need to make that more popular. With time comes balance. You start growing algae. You start growing little things in your gravel. You start learning. We know things like a handful of gravel out of an established tank or a used sponge filter will make it so we can technically keep some fish alive. But there's a big difference between just keeping them alive and not letting them die to ammonia burn and setting up an environment for them to really thrive and breed and be a long sustainable thing. You know, your tank's been set up for two months and it's already cycled. And then you're getting spikes of ammonia and things like that. And it turns out you have fluval stratum or you have um, ADA aqua soil or something that is now releasing lots of ammonia in there. That's, that has nothing to do with the cycle, but it wasn't seasoned and ready. And when you go and you read about those soils, like, oh, it takes up to three months for them to be ready to use. I think that's where we need to keep pushing people towards let's learn and let's get a, a robust ecosystem and I, I know I sound like a broken record with this but I've been battling it for at least in videos that I can see six years six years ago I did a, a video that was cycle your aquarium with plants creating this ecosystem that works together that creates somewhere for the fish to hide it creates somewhere for them to breed it creates uh, algae for them to eat it creates plant matter it creates uh, ways to take out toxins and metals and yes ammonia nitrates and stuff like that too but it's such a bigger picture that we're missing about two years ago when we did a video I was like is your tank really cycled I clearly am not doing or I'm not reaching enough people because it's I continually see it every single day we're focusing on if an aquarium is cycled and not if an aquarium is matured or stable or any of these things. I want you guys to keep talking about it. I want you to help me think, how are we gonna do better? How are we gonna teach people that deep sand bed or a deep gravel bed that is matured for six months is so much more different than gravel that has been set up for three weeks and is cycled. But well, Corey, you don't even really like deep sand beds and, and plenums and that kind of stuff. Just because I don't prefer to keep a fish that way or a fish tank that way or an ecosystem that way doesn't mean I don't understand that it has benefits. There's pros and cons and we'll just start planting it. Start getting plants growing. Start with a garden, then introduce the animals. One, you're going to learn so much more. If you just have plants, you go, hey, what's that thing swimming around the water? Oh, that's a seed shrimp or oh, that's infusoria or oh, that's a Daphne or oh, you had eggs coming out of the plants and they hatched out. You're going to learn about all that. You know, we also see this in a long enough plane of time where people struggle at the beginning. They have this good run of a year or two and then they struggle towards the end. Their tank does balance out and then it starts running out of things because they never really learned. You know, we're really good as an industry of setting people up to buy stuff, get some fish, have some success, get some more fish, some more plants, some more stuff, but not really teach them long, long term methods. A good example. When it comes to disease, a lot of people say, well, I did Maricin or Erythromycin and my water turned all cloudy and it wasn't good. A lot of times it's because the tank wasn't stable to begin with. It couldn't 
take some antibiotic in the water. Seasoned aquariums tend to shrug it off. Well-established bacteria, it's seen more stuff, it got hardier. Bacteria is constantly like multiplying and dying and coming back with hardier strains and stuff like that. The more different types of bacteria you can get in. So yes, do I like Fritz Zyme as a liquid bacteria starter? Yes, it brings in a few types of bacteria, right? But I also think it's just as important to have some live plants. Experienced fish keepers, you end up knowing this. When you work in a store, you focus on how do I get people from point A to B the easiest? Teaching people about cycling water is not the easiest way. Teaching them about growing plants actually is easier and longer, more meaningful teaching. I was actually, I Googled like cycling in aquarium and I started reading through all these kind of click farm websites. One, one person said, I have set up a few aquariums and I've been keeping aquariums for a couple of years and here's how you cycle an aquarium. And as long as you have zero ammonia, zero nitrite and some nitrates, you have a cycled aquarium. If I was new to the hobby today, that article failed me because if I go test my tap water, I have nitrates in it. I have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and I have nitrates because it's not telling a story. Yes. Does that handle 95%? Yes. But we're still leaving 5% of people out there. Then we have another 5% of the people that, oh, they have pH problems. We didn't really even tell them to focus on the pH when we were talking about cycling. And then we have other people that will just miss, like, I didn't know I had to heat it. You know, I did a water change. I was going to get a spike in ammonia because I have chloramine. We're, we're missing so many of these steps. We don't teach them about how much oxygen's in the aquarium and that when we use a dechlorinator, it uses up the oxygen. And if we have too high of a stock load, that that could become detrimental. And the good news is nature is magical. And over a long enough period of time, almost always will adapt. The longer we give an undisturbed experience to our aquariums, the more robust they'll become. And whether we get better or not from reading and learning, our aquariums will get better. And so naturally we'll get better and it'll be more stable. So change the conversation from is your aquarium cycle to how long has your aquarium been set up? From there, we can hopefully they'll tell us the story and we can help that way. The time an aquarium has been set up is very important. Yes, do we want to be able to process ammonia? Of course we do, that, of course. But we also want all the little goodies for fish to eat. We want other types of bacteria in there. We want some algae, we want some plants, we want little critters, we want the right mix of fish, we want things to be coming in from the foods we're feeding. All of those things are important. Let's not cycle tanks, let's set up tanks. Let's set up ecosystems. Let's build the whole thing and make something robust. So. Good luck, help me fight the good fight, and uh, yeah, don't cycle your aquarium. Set it up, enjoy it, learn about it. We hope you enjoyed this video. To watch another one just like this, click here.